Middle England has been mourning the death of one of its favourite heroes, I suppose, a legend, really, uh, an icon. I refer, of course, to one of the natural knights of the theatre, uh, the great Peter O'Toole. <laughs> R.I.P. Yes. A great actor, uh, a man of elegance and class and elan, who made, of course, one of history's uh, great debuts as Lawrence of Arabia. What a movie. Rarely off the Christmas television schedules in my youth. Three hours and 48 minutes. Not a single female speaking part in the entire film. <laughs> That's what I call Christmas. That was... <laughs> that was another era, of course. A great actor, but more to the point, I think we can all agree, a great, really great drunk. <laughs> you don't see enough really proper old-school steam-powered drunks in public life these days. <laughs> lost weekends, O'Toole lost entire decades. He woke up <laughs> literally in countries he couldn't remember having entered. And he did all this, let's not forget, on single, old-fashioned, unalloyed booze. Not like today's young people, like many of you, I imagine, who require something called Jaeger bombs <laughs> to keep going after 11 o'clock at night. I'll tell you what I call a Jaeger bomb, finding out your wife has blown about a grand on a new coat from a branch of Jaeger <laughs> on your credit card statement. That'll keep you up at night. You might not feel like dancing, but you'll be awake, all right? <laughs> but O'Toole, Richard Burton, Oliver Reed, these were classy old-school drunks. They, the point about these men was that they're theatrically trained drunks. They could... They loved the sound of their own voices, like all drunks do, but they, 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 they had voices that were mellifluous to everybody else's ear. To compare these warriors against temperance with some of the modern eras, I don't know, Charlie Sheen or Lindsay Lohan. It's like comparing Lear on the blasted heath with a dog pissing up your trouser leg. It's... <laughs> it's a great shame, and I mourn his passing. Appropriately enough, I was actually uh, aware, I became aware of, of, of the death of Lawrence of Arabia, as it were, as I emerged from another epic, quasi-biblical theatrical production set in the Middle East and featuring a bunch of unknowns wandering around in tea towels. Whether my daughter's nativity play featured any great <laughs> debuts, only time will tell. I would have to say, in all honesty, none of the performances struck me as particularly electrifying, unless you count the point at which the star of Bethlehem wet herself and short-circuited her costume. <laughs> you should have seen her little face light up. It was my <laughs> Not that anyone did see it, of course, because, as you all know, nobody actually watches anything like this anymore. They all just film it on their cameras or their iPhones or their iPads. There were so many people waving tablets around in the air, it looked more like Mount Sinai than Bethlehem, to be honest. <laughs> Why is everyone so urgently obsessed with recording everything that they attend nowadays? Nobody watches anything. They just go, this is fantastic. I'll record it now. What, when are you going to watch it? If you don't have time to watch it now, when you're actually there, <laughs> what do you think will be more appropriate? <laughs> and it's not as if we're any good at filming things, is it? I mean, seriously. We are rubbish. The general public has no training. You get wobbly zoom. Never zoom in, incidentally, on a child's face. That is creepy as fuck. <laughs> the only chance anyone ever has of seeing this footage is on the six o'clock news in the most unsettling circumstances imaginable. The last thing you want people to be doing at that point is judging you on your poor camera work. <laughs> But still, I was there at the back of the room with everybody else holding up my iPad. They were all filming, and I was watching the cricket. Because <laughs> David Cameron has actually tried to keep a distance from himself and some of the posters that were made by conservative students in the 1980s, like this one. <laughs> they actually came out with this. Can you believe that? Hang Now they're trying to say... What we were trying to say was this. We tried to hang... <laughs> 